Hello folks, and thank you for joining me, I'm going to make a go at a little something here, I, uh, it, it keeps, I keep being confronted with it, uh, whether in comment, whether in other researchers' material, and other, uh, it just seems to be popping up, so I need to, I guess, clarify, um, the, I don't even know how to start this conversation, but, the, seems to be a lot of confusion, a lot of miscomprehension, a lot of deception going on with the esoteric researchers, and their complete buying into the esoteric knowledge basically as a belief system okay as a religion almost and uh i i get a lot of flack because i post up some people's uh you know some religious stuff basically scripture bible okay so let's start there then the Bible, the script of Ur, the scripture, this is the script, okay, understand that, and understand that the script, as in everything, as in all, is duality, there's always the duality put into everything in the materialistic world, and you have the two levels of the script, the two sides playing the script, okay, you have a physical effort to manifest the script, okay, on one end, and you have a spiritual, uh, and I can't call that effort to manifest the script because it's actually in the spiritual, it's a, it's a already played script, but that would get me off topic. The point is, there's two levels to this on and, and on every level okay and just like there's the two maskings there's the if you want we'll say the devil Satan imitates the Lord okay the most highs works okay he has put a layer over in his guys okay uh, of course understand that yes the the Bible especially that's why you want the King James Version when it comes to that too is because the King James Version still relays the old knowledge through the metaphors okay because yes most of it is metaphoric and symbolic in one level of perception or understanding and in one front one side of the play the show whatever uh, and, or the court, which is actually being played out in a courtroom, uh, or on a court. Um, but here, I've been running into a lot of uh, a total denial of scripture. Okay, and it's kind of funny. The esoteric people that want to deny the knowledge of the scripture don't understand then apparently the metaphoric value of the scripture in that same knowledge that they're talking about. And then they want to take uh, the uh, opinion of uh, some researchers and uh, play it off like it's a completely made up story. Uh, from beginning to end, it was all completely made up, put together. Uh, Jesus never existed. It's all the same repeat of the ancient history uh, story, blah, 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 which is actually where Mystery Babylon has confused it because they, that's where, that's the church. That is not Jesus. That is not what Jesus was teaching. That is not what uh, see the church and what Jesus teaches are two different things for one so you take the church which yes uh, originally you know after 
what happened then the like the Mithras cult and stuff you know are, are responsible for a lot of the Catholic intertwining of the sun worship into the Christianity because it all fits together with the same stories and symbolisms the way they told the story that doesn't mean that Jesus didn't walk the earth. That doesn't mean that Jesus wasn't a real man and that he didn't have something to say and something to share and that he didn't come for a reason and that they didn't hang him on the cross for what he did. I mean, he Jesus was a rebel, man, and today he was an outlaw. He was the man walking around preaching the truth while the synagogues and the preachers and the high priests and everybody was still trying to keep the masses under control bottom line okay and if if you actually see what jesus if you studied Je what jesus was teaching then then you would see his, what his parables mean and he was teaching the secrets of the universe man he was teaching you the energy the way god works the way god's laws work the karma the whole reap what you sow that's all the same it's the same stuff man uh, you know, he t the walk on water, he tells it, ye too can do as I have done. The whole kingdom is within you thing. The whole, I mean, it all meshes together, don't you see? Because it is the same message. And that's why they hung his butt on the cross, because they don't want nobody giving out the powers and the secrets and letting you know the free entity that you really are, because they want to control you. Okay, again, here we get to the two fronts and, and the two differences as well that a lot of esoteric uh, researchers, of course, are not spiritual people. They've taken one side, and a lot of that is because of their brain, the one, the right-left brain thing. Uh, very few people can actually mesh the two together and understand and see both perspectives and both sides and understand and experience the spiritual side while it's still... Uh, absorbing the knowledgeable side okay and the ancient symbols all that knowledge too that comes from even even before mystery babylon even before the egyptians even i mean it can, it goes back and uh so but anyway the point is there's two sides to every three sides to every story but two sides to every conflict here or uh, paradigm and also on that front you have that physical and you have th that control mechanism for the physical for the body okay and then for the soul okay now people get confused especially if they've only experienced one side of life if they started out in the 12-step school system the and went to the college indoctrination centers and learned the different things and maybe even joined fraternity and again got wrapped up in these different professions where they know uh, certain secrets they're playing games you know like the law profession I mean because I mean these laws don't they don't come out and tell you the truth about the law and it's all about deception even when you get in the courtroom because if you don't know what they're actually saying to you with the way they say their words then you know so that is the control mechanism for the body, okay? Because that's they they control your body here, in this place, okay? And then then the way they they set the whole system up as above, so below. Um, even that, even their own even their own, you know, imitation of imitation, is tells you right there within itself the duality nature of everything, everything, and so. You can't just take a one-sided view, okay? And I, I try to be nice to people when they make comments that okay, and they're like okay, and they bring out their little esoteric, and they, and they start talking about that stuff and, and this, but that they don't understand how it was messed together. They don't really understand the history. They're just repeating somebody else's views of a one-sided. <laughs> point of perspective sorry I had, if I blew into the mic I had to blow cat hair off my hand because I had a cat down here but so the the 
cat distracted me, and then I kind of, you know, I kind of said, that's really what I want to say, uh, is that you have to take in both aspects, and, and I'll realize a lot of esoteric researchers, uh, whether it's uh, an occultic researchers, they're actually not very spiritual. They are using the knowledge of the material realm. The geo, you know, whether it's gematria, whether it's the, you know, Kabbalah, whether it's the secrets of the, all this energies and, and how it works, or whether it's the secrets of the symbols and rituals and stuff and how to manipulate the matrix itself and how to, or whether it's into the, you know, the psychic power, the psychic, you know, uh, all that different stuff. It, they're not really spiritual. It's all based, knowledge based, it's all earthly based, it's all three dimensional based. Okay? These are the power that, ha these are the powers and the power that is to manipulate the world here for the people that are into playing the game. And, the, and they're into the money flow and they're into the corporation and they're into the uh, you know, basically commoditizing of the body and of the people. And at the same time, that commoditizing of the body, you know, just like, you know, I, I don't want to get into the whole explaining law to people in this, you know, the admiral time law, the maritime law, the to com to compared to common law, land, you see, it's all these duality, even the, the land law compared to the sea law or the water law. And the and the you know, the money, the currency, the <laughs> the flow, ebb and flow, man, ebb and flow. If <laughs> excuse me, that's for them people. Okay, if you want to go that route, that's all good. Have fun, and that's why I try to tell people, man, go whatever, dude. You know, that's your choice. You have free will. You have free will to choose. And many people have been stuck in that path because that's where the way the societal path in this culture <laughs> uh, leads you into that materialistic uh, because they want you as a commodity. They want you to work. They want you to pay your taxes and be a good little boy or girl. Okay, and just be the commodity that they want for their corporation in the bodily sense. Okay, and so that's the lit path that most people go and and see I didn't go that path I, I actually went a com completely different path and I've been searching and experiencing a spiritual path my whole life since childhood uh, I have seen a side of reality and of life that you know not most have seen and so I know it is real that side and then also that is verified and form in the materialistic by the knowledge I've gained in the last you know uh, over 30 years of actively searching I mean and, and cause if you count my younger stupider years uh, where I was fumbling searching too uh, you know because I was man when I, when I was young and and in life threw me <laughs> balls curved balls you know here we go with the balls thing and i, I, I just because i was just listening to something and he was talking about giving kids balls that was but uh you know and and that's another thing okay some of the people i post okay mike hogart hogart you know he knows his bible okay he knows his scripture and whether you believe in the religious spiritual side of it or not it doesn't matter okay there's one other side of it in the physical that is being played out they are following this script and if you can't see that then you don't know anything you don't understand the script you don't understand the metaphoric and uh, values the symbolic values and the metaphoric examples of the script itself let alone the actual story itself and 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 because i mean like there's many different levels to them words <laughs> in and not just that I mean in everything in everything you read everything they do okay they trick you with words it's magic spells they're spells words are spells 
that's why they call it spelling um, but again, I'm not gonna get. It. I didn't make this. I'm not trying to make this video as a, a a lesson video. Maybe someday when when I can actually express what I know in a sensible manner where people could understand both sides of the perspectives and how they mesh, uh, then maybe I would go into all that stuff. I mean, but it would take hours, you know, and I'd have to organize it. And that's the that's the thing with me is. Uh, when it comes to, s I'm, I'm not uh, or an organizer, okay, I am actually a very, I'm, I'm actually, in my physical life, I'm very organized, I'm very neat, everything has its play, I'm actually a neat freak and a perfectionist, but uh, when it comes to meshing these two, it's very hard to express in the language that they have given us, some of it, that's why they have to use symbols and metaphors, <laughs> because, uh, without those, you can't reach those other levels of understanding, okay? And that's what they're there for, okay? Then that's part of this, it, why I'm making this video for it, uh, is they're there to help you understand. If you don't understand why the symbols and the, uh, it, you know, everything is exampled, in that duality, in that both realms, okay, the spiritual and the physical, then, and in knowledge-wise, too, you see what I'm saying? That's, the symbols mean something which means something, okay, which means something else, you understand? It's a three-level tier, actually, just like the steps of the, the th first three levels of Masonic, the whole thing there, you know, it's actually symbolic of that as well it's a three level tier of duality mind you because the third level is always hidden it's always the hidden level and the third level is the level that connects and meshes the other two levels okay and if you don't understand both levels of the other two levels you will never understand the unseen level so all you people coming at me with your when I post somebody like Mike Hoggard uh, talking about some scripture and you want to come at me with your esoteric and, and bashing religion and and talking about Jesus never existed and yada 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 <laughs> you know I don't want to hear it man okay that's a one-sided view I've been there I've done that been through that rabbit hole round that labyrinth and out the other side again and believe me I've been through the labyrinth in the last over 30 years of actively searching it since I you know first saw the world as a teenager when I you know because of my earlier years as a childhood and growing up as a teenager led me real early in life to see things real early I got a real big head start on people because I didn't go through the through the whole 12 tier uh, <laughs> uh, indoctrination program and all that stuff I was in a hurry to grow up and in a hurry to do things as a very young child and I and I uh, was a rebel rebellious soul at the same time so um, anyway I you know I've got at least 10 year head start on most anybody my age just because I started early okay uh, I, I anyway so you have to un you can't just come from one side okay if you've never experienced the spiritual side and you cannot understand that side and that value of the symbolics and the whole story how the whole mess it all messes together all the way back all the way back through every cu culture again we get into the culture why is it called culture yes it, because you know you're on a farm <laughs> that's why and and you're ba you know we're all tools like i've said before it's all an experiment kind of so to speak if you want to look at it that way okay on one level on the physical level it's an experiment okay and, and you're all test tube babies <laughs> but, <laughs> but anyway i'm I'm getting off subject. See, that's why I can't make organized videos and stuff because the meshing comes in and then people think I'm nuts, okay? Because I talk about it from that mesh level. I don't talk about it from just the spiritual side and just the uh, physical side. Uh, the esoteric and the and the religious, if you would like. It, it, 
combating. See, they've got they've got them. That's part of the deception as well, with the whole uh, esoteric secret knowledge. Oh, these masons and all these people that are running things, they must know something we don't. By golly, well, we gotta find out what that is. Let's search and search and search. Well, you know, I've been down that road, and I searched and searched and searched, and guess where it led me back to? <laughs> and besides that, like I said, I've had experiences that I know certain things in the spiritual world and the unseen world are true because I have seen them. So, I had the experience and, and then also the self-educated knowledge of being able to connect the dots and uh you know so uh, yes religion is screwed man it's a tool to control the masses okay but jesus didn't come here to teach religion <laughs> that's not what he came for and that's not what he was doing okay and that's what you religious bashers or you christianity bashers christ bashers need to understand and maybe you maybe you may be thinking you are a master of the esoteric knowledge but maybe you need to put that down for a minute and go to the other knowledge and think of it from a different viewpoint for a minute and expand your own knowledge before you start talking that silly crap okay because jesus was a man i don't care what you say you don't think he was real you think he's completely made up fable whatever you have the free will to make that choice okay and uh good luck to you on that path otherwise i know for a fact through my very own experiences of having a crossroads experience where the devil literally offered i was offered to sell my soul for what i wanted in the world Okay, I was, I had gotten to that position in a certain game that I spent half my life playing. Okay, but I was playing it for different reasons than most of the people around me were. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, I mean, I've, and I've, I've seen these reptilian interdimensional things, and they're the same darn thing the Bible talks about as demons. It's a different label. It's the same damn entity. The same entities. And yes, we have outside entities. Okay, you can call them E.T., aliens, demons. I don't give a darn what you call them. I call them ugly. Okay? <laughs> and in both spirit and physical sense. And uh, yes, they're tampered with us. They've messed with us. It's in the book, man. It's in that same book that everybody bashes. That everybody talks, oh, that's a made up story. No, it's not. It tells the whole story of what's actually going down. So anyway, I'm getting a little, uh, I'm getting a little, that's enough. I've said what I needed to say. <sighs> God bless you all. Creator bless you all. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. I'm not here to teach you religion. I'm not here to support any religion. I'm not I'm here to support anything but individuality and individual thinking and pulling your mind out of the gutter and out of the matrix. That's all I care about. Quit imitating all the memes. Okay? And when I post up some scripture and stuff, I'm trying to tell you that, I mean that's what they're doing i like the one video mark the beast what this is their plan i don't care if you believe in the religious part of it and the spiritual part of it and all that that's your own choice but you got they're following the book dudes ladies <laughs> ladies and gentlemen <laughs> you know what i'm saying so i mean you can't just write anything off if you write anything off in any aspect of all this stuff you're closing yourself off. You're boxing yourself in. Alright. That's it. Y'all have a good one.